one more reaction, sir, that I wanted to bring in. UP journalism professor Danilo Ara was saying, he put out this challenge on his Twitter account. UP faculty and alumni who are Duterte's top-level officials should denounce Lorenzana's letter terminating the 1989 accord. This disregards everything UP stands for. Should they remain silent? A six-word question. Where is your honor and excellence? So let me ask you, sir, are you denouncing this letter by Secretary Lorenzana um, as, a form, as a UP student and as a former UP professor? Are you denouncing it? I'm asking the uh, DND secretary and the president of UP to sit down, and I have offered my good offices to facilitate this meeting. But the word is denouncer. Didn't denounce you who by ito? And we're not speaking as a presidential spokesperson. I'm also spokesperson. presidential spokesperson. Well, there's really no such thing, you know, when you are a presidential spokesperson. All I'm saying is, let's talk about this. I support the steps of the UP president, and let's see why a 30-year-old accord should not be continued when it has worked apparently perfectly well in the past 30 years. Uh, so that doesn't make you silent on the issue because you're actually taking a stand. And I'm not duty-bound to follow anything that Professor Arau says. All right. Presidential. More academic than him. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque will still be with us after the break. Later, we're going to talk about government's vaccination program. Secretary Galvez will be speaking to uh, Senate President Tito Soto about this. We'll discuss this after the break. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, presidential spokesperson, Harry Rokesek. I still need to do a follow-up on this because now the Duterte Youth uh, Party List is seeking or asking that kung ano po yung ginawa sa UP, ayun din yung gawin sa PUP. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that, sir. Well, you know, it's a free country. If that is the thought of the Duterte Youth, so be it. And that's uh, something that the presidential spokesperson does not have to be involved with, no? But, you know, Pinky, I have to highlight the fact that I think the question on Arau was unfair. In the first place, why am I duty-bound to follow anything that Professor Arau says? Mm -hmm. You made it uh, appear as if it's compulsory for me to follow him. I spent more time in UP than him. Okay. And I think, uh, as I said, I even have a, 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 I'm even a more senior academic than him. No? So it was not a fair question. I'm not duty-bound to follow anything that Danny Arau says right. and should not don't take thoughts, no? Smokes, don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't saying you're yeah, duty no, you bound. Were I, you were as implying as if I had to follow what Dani Arau says. Well, what, what is the basis for that? It was a There's tweet, no sir. It was a tweet, Spokes, and then it just yeah, said but you that... you said I had to follow him, and if I did not do as he did, then I have no honor or excellence. Is that a fair question? No, I didn't say that, Secretary Roque. That's I what did. he said, though. That's what he said, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm calling you out for that. Secretary Roque, okay, um, just to be very clear about this, it was a tweet that I read, and I asked for your reaction if you would denounce it. And then yes. after uh, that... It's, uh, it's implying that I should follow what Danny Arrow says. And where is the basis? Tell your viewers now. What is the basis that I should follow what Danny Arrow says? It's not just you asking for a reaction. You were pursuing. Will you denounce? See? So it's not just a reaction. You wanted me to answer Danny Arrow. Why should I? And is that fair on your end? Okay. Then, then if you say that, why should you answer it? And if you answered it that way, sir, then I would have to take it as is. It was just a challenge. Yes, but you're pushing the point. Well, because you're going beyond asking for my reaction, sir. Okay, it's a challenge. Because will you denounce it? You said it on record. The TV recorded it. Yes, that's right. We have to be fair, no? I am trying to be fair, Secretary Roque. I was no, not. You were not. You were not. It's as if if I don't agree with Arau, that I have no sense of excellence or honor. Absolutely not. I never meant that. Please don't think that, uh, Secretary well, Roque. I would have never. I would record. have never I meant it that. Certainly take offense that I have to follow anyone else's uh, um, um, advice. No, it's okay. not right. So, just to end this topic, how would you like to? How do you, how would you like to end this, sir? This uh, issue uh, I on. Said it. 
I have never experienced being in UP with soldiers or military. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to facilitate the discussion between the UP president and um, the Secretary of National Defense. I'm offering my good offices for them to have this conversation. All right. And of course, I think it has to be discussed why a 30-year accord, which has been in place, should be revoked at this point. Fair enough, sir. Can we move to another topic?